So today I wanted to share a malware analysis tip. Uh, it's not really a technique or anything. Um, it's just something that I've used for many years and it helps in analyzing files. Um, I work with quite a few cybersecurity professionals and reverse engineers and found out today that a lot of them actually didn't know about this. Um, so I'll share this with you today and hopefully it can help you with your analysis. If you all have any questions about uh, this video or any of our other videos, head over to ringzerolabs.com and we have a ton of articles and things over there that can help you out or we can answer your questions directly. So the tip is for transferring files. So when you're analyzing malware, you're dealing with a lot of different VMs. Um, it could be different uh, VM programs like uh, VMware, VirtualBox, uh, Kimu, things like that. And oftentimes you can't have uh, the VMware tools or VirtualBox tools installed on there. So you can't drag and drop files. Um, it's difficult to get files in between different OSs sometimes because you don't have an SSH server on one or you know yada yada yada. <clears throat> but one thing that is installed on just about every OS that I've worked on, um, especially analysis OSs, is Python. In Windows, of course, you have to install Python. It doesn't come with it. But in most Unix-based operating systems, it has a version of Python. That includes Debian, Ubuntu, like all of these, and their derivatives, or OSs that are built on them, like Mac. So what you can do with Python, you can type Python, tech m, then simple HTTP server. Um, you can specify a port if you want, or you can just leave it blank and it will choose one, in this case 8000. 8, and what that does is, uh, let me get my IP real quick, uh, 29, okay. So what that does is allow you from any computer that is able to reach uh, that machine, you can bring up a web browser. Go to HTTP 8000 and it will give you a web page and list all of the files that are in that current di current directory in case in this case we're in the user user directory so all the files that are in there are accessible from this web page that's pretty cool I didn't have to set up an SFTP server I didn't have to set up an FTP server or anything like that I didn't have to mess around with VMware shares um, none of that this is just simple HTTP server that allows you to access a machine, a machine's directory, and you can go into directories as well and download files from that machine. And like I said, this works on many OS's, so this is you know, Windows. We can close that. We can then host it on, in this case, a Kali box. And then there's the current directory listing on Kali. So you didn't have to mess around with mounts or anything like that or, or you know, mounting folders, stuff like that. Um, and then, so it works for just regular Linux, which, there we are, Linux, Kali, cool. Um, this window here is Kimu running Debian, MIPS, Little Indian. That's a very different architecture from normal uh, Linux, but as you can see here, uh, Debian MIPS Little Indian. But 
it also comes with Python. Takes a minute because it's running on a 200 megahertz simulated processor. But we can go back to our Windows machine and it's 139, I believe. And there we are. So these are the files that are in the Debian MIPS Little Indian virtualized machine <laughs> accessed from Windows. I didn't have to set up any servers or folders. And again, here's a Mac instance. By default, Mac comes with Python installed. Python 2.7, and of course you can do the same thing with Mac. So I hope this uh, video was informative. Um, again, transferring files and tools and things during analysis, especially between different platforms, is uh, that's a lot of wasted time. Usually, trying to set up VMware shared folders or transfer files to VMs that don't necessarily have, you know, uh, an accessible GUI, things like that, or if you just don't have networking capability because, you know, for whatever reason, different VLANs and they can't contact each other, you can get it to an intermediary very easily using this Python technique and then transfer it over to where you need to go. So if this video was informative, let us know. Uh, if you want other tips like this, um, be happy to do so or more analysis videos we're always open to suggestions but if you'll have any questions comments head over to ringzerolabs.com and we'd be happy to help you out